Today I'm here at Hello Kitty Cafe to do a ranking video of some of my favorite floors that I've built. I think someone asked me to do this a while ago and I finally got around to doing it. I did a video similar to this where I did the top three cafes that I have visited, but this one is my build and that video is once I just visited. But I have a few of my favorite cafe builds, so instead of three, I'm gonna do five for this video. I've been building for a while now. The first tour that I've ever posted was November 27th of 2022, and that one was very simple because I just started playing the game, and throughout time, I have definitely improved and I definitely like my more recent builds more than the ones that I did in the past. Although I still love those builds, I do prefer the ones I have now because they also have more furniture now and everything too. With the updates, we've gotten a lot more things to build with and stuff. Number five, which is kind of ironic because it's my Gudetama build and I've only done one of these builds and that one was actually a while ago. I built that one in 2023. So last year, I built that floor, but I really like this floor because it's the only Gudetama floor I built, and I really like the setup of that floor too. I think it's really cute, and I really like the flooring and the decorations and stuff. Gudetama is pretty adorable too. I think I should do another one of a Gudetama floor. I haven't done that in a while, but I'll show you guys the tour of that floor so you guys can see it. You have this big long hallway that wraps all the way around this little sectioned off area. We got tables, lots of tables. The floors are meant to kind of look like eggs. They also kind of look like daisies. We have a cute table over here. Some more tables here by the Skudatama egg tart statue. Some more tables back here. A bar. Some more tables and more tables over here. Lots and lots of tables all around this room and some more decorations and tables on this side as well. And the little cornered off area, we have a Gudetama wall, a bar over here, some more tables all around, the floors. I love the floors of this floor as well. I love it. It's so bright and colorful. I love all the colors. We have a Strawberry King room super cute it's a small little room but i love strawberry king so i felt like he needed something in here have a trash can in the corner it goes well and i needed some popularity so that is the strawberry king room and this is the gudetama kitchen i love it so much that was my gudetama for it and that one's ranked number five. I just really love the oranges. I think it's really, really adorable. I love it a lot. Number four is my sweet party floor. This one was built recently because the sweet party stuff is recent, but I still love this floor. I think it's so cute. I really love all the colors, all the sweet party furniture, everything about that floor. I really, really love it. And I ranked it number four. It's all pastel -y and super cute. I really enjoy that floor. I don't have it anymore, sadly, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And I'll show you guys the tour to that floor as well. But this is the fifth floor. I redid the floors completely. They didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, and I think they were a little bit too much, so I kind of simplified them a little bit. But over here by the button area, I have the cinema roll and the anniversary floors. And then I changed this area quite a bit. I put the cake over there with the little bins and the wand. And then I have my melody over here and wish me mel. I'm using my melody, wish me mel, musical dreamy, and hello kitty because they are in the furniture. I decided to just match the furniture with the characters, but I also have Hello Kitty partitions right there and one of the cotton candy stands. Super cute. Over here is the TV area. I just did some simple yellow checkered floors and I really like how this turned out. I'm using Wish Me Mel and Nuclear Dreamy statues and it is just so cute and colorful and then the walls are striped and then I have some pictures and 
which emails wall lamps on there and I think it's just super super cute and then over here I changed these floors and I wanted to make them just simple so I chose two colors so I did this light pink and this dark pink and I got this idea from my friend I'll put her username on the screen um, she had something like this in her cafe and I remembered it and did the same thing and I totally forgot who it was but it was by my friend and they are super cute I really like them so they're inspired by her cafe floors and then I have one of the big tables right there and my melody in the back just to add a little bit of decoration back there then we have the sweet party stage which is super super cute and it's a big item so I just put it over here and then I have the DJ booth and the small dance stage and I also kind of decorated it a little bit more with these banners and I think that made it super cute and the floors are cinema roll and the anniversary I kind of did the same thing over there too but I used pink and blue over here we have some bright green and bright blue floors I actually really like how this turned out I think it's really cute and then another one of the big tables I think these big tables are really cool so I used both of them they are super cute I really like the sweet party furniture and then in the back is like the kitchen area and I did yellow and pink floors which I think are so cute I really like that and then I have a macaroon statue people ask me about this this statue is from dessert party and dessert party is not in the game right now they are gonna bring it back and hopefully they end up adding this back as well if you want it it's not in the game currently so i'm sorry if you weren't able to get it it is a really cute prop and i think it'll be coming back out hopefully because it is really adorable and then we have the cake stand right here another cake table and this one's super cute i used both of them because they're just adorable and then one of the corner sofas i ended up not using a lot of the corner sofas but i have one over here and then this is the counter bar area i used two of the corners and then I did some stools and stuff as well. In the back we have a bin, juice dispenser, and then we have the sink right here, the oven, and then all the beverage machines, and a grill on the other side, another one of these corner sofas, and another cotton candy machine. As you can see, it's very, very cute, very pastel-y. I really love the characters too, like, Wish Me Mel and Musical Dreamy and Hello Kitty and My Melody. I think they go so well together and the Sweet Party stuff is just really adorable. So that one's ranked number four. Number three, which is one that is kind of old. Um, I think it's almost been a year since I built that floor. And that is my summer floor. I actually really like this one. I like the setup of it. I like the characters I used. I like the summer stuff a lot. And I'm actually very excited for the summer update since summer is almost here. So we should be expecting some cool summer things. But anyways, I'll show you guys that floor as well. So we have like a little beach like scene going on here. It is really, really cute. I love how the floors turned out. I think it turned out amazing. But over here is like the little beach area with Mama Fuiori and Pachaco because they go so well with the summer beachy theme. We also have a lifeguard post here, which is a VIP high chair. I think it goes so, so well. And then I added some of those really cute summer shelves. They go so, so well as well. I just love them so much. And then I'm using the boba tables because I just couldn't help myself and they go so well as well so I just had to. We have a summer wall over here and then some more of the summer items up there and over here is blue, yellow, and green themed so that's what I did for the walls. And then we have some banners up on top. I love the banners, they are so cool. 
Over here is the Tuxedo Sam area with another Hello Summer wall. We got some more boba tables, but in Tuxedo Sam colors, along with this ice cream sandwich dessert party statue, which goes so well. Another one of his statues right there, which also goes really, really well. We even have the ice cream statues on either side since he has a little ice cream bar right here, which is so cute. So I have a bar with all the ice creams and the palm tree decor because it goes so well. And then over here is the back area, so it's kind of split in half. This is the kitchen. I made it Kurobi themed because he goes really mm -hmm. with all of the green and yellow. So that is what is going on over here. And I love how this turned out with all of my kitchen machines. And then over here is like a little hallway almost area. I just had it split down the middle with some of those boba tables. And then we have a hang yo don theme. I am so glad I was able to add this in here because it turned out so cute. I really love the summer floor. Again, I just really love the setup and like the beach and everything. It's just so adorable. That one is another one of my favorites and definitely is ranked number three right in the middle. Number two is my fourth floor cinema roll floor. That one was my all-time favorite for a while and not my number one favorite now, so I ranked it for number two, but I still love that floor. Cinema Roll is my favorite character, so of course I love it because it's Cinema Roll, but it also has beautiful rainbow floors and I really like the hallway in the middle. I just really like the way I set up this floor and I really, really love all the furniture. He has a lot of furniture and I'm pretty sure I built that around the time they added the cinema roll mini game and i just love it with all of his cinema roll stuff and it's just super adorable so i had to rank that one number two because it is definitely my second favorite this is where you start out with this little button area i have a candy dispenser i have this adorable cinema roll birthday statue and i also have his adorable tree i really really love his tree the floors are just simple checkered, but I honestly love it. Oh, by the way, I am using the new Cinema Roll theme. So if you want to know why it is pink and blue and yellow, that is why. You have two ways to go. You can go this way or over here. We'll start over here to this other room, which have striped floors. I really love how this turned out. Got some bars, another one of his adorable birthday statues, and those two cute lights. I really love how this turned out. I also have a tiny table over here with another one of those adorable pictures and another one of these amazing trees. I started putting some of these colorful pillars around and I really love how they look. This is the other room and it is just so cute. I have his teacup statue and some tables the my melody fireplace goes so well in here i have some bright color floors and then we have another one of those cloud trees i was really close to getting rid of the floor but the more i look at it i think i like it but then you can walk this way into this middle area you can also walk this way through this room but we'll start at the end over here and this is the hallway i have tons of pillars and decorations and honestly i love it so so much i think this has to be my favorite part about this floor i have a table over here with one of these adorable carts and some kiki and lala furniture just goes so well and then this way is some openings to go into those rooms more pillars and more decorations over here and you can really see those pretty colored walls back there so gorgeous i really love all the colors that i used and then you have this adorable wall in the back with a uh, choco decor and some of those rainbow lights up there super adorable i really really love the hallway i think it's so cute this has to be my favorite part of this floor over here is to the kitchen and i'm using some of the cinema roll stuff in here these blue and white floors are so pretty and oh it's just gorgeous i really love how this turned out i have some machines back here 
I picked some machines that go really well. Of course, the sweet roll looks like his tail. And then I also have this fluffy cotton candy, kind of like clouds. And then this adorable super cupcake machine and some boba. I think the boba looks cute up here as well. And I just love how this turned out. And then you can go into this room, but we'll go into the hallway for that. And I have some amazing rainbow floors that are pastel and just so gorgeous. I love how this turned out. But for number one is my pastel floor, which is kind of a twist because I'm actually on it right now. I still have this floor. It is so so cute so pastel it was kind of a challenge video you guys chose how i built this floor and it was such a fun video to do i'll have that one linked down below and in the card along with all my other floors that i list in this video i really really love this pastel floor and i think it's my all-time favorite as of right now i just love all the colors and i love all the characters that i used on it it is just so adorable. Like I said, I actually have it right now, so I could give you guys a little tour of it. I really love it. It has Cinemural over here. I really love the blue. Again, Cinemural is my favorite, and he's on this floor, of course. I think it's so cute, though. One of the challenge was to use no walls on this floor, and you guys picked so well for that video. That was such a fun video. I really recommend it if you haven't watched it before. But in the middle, we have purple, pink, and white. So I use Miracle Dreamy. And I use my Melody. And I also use Wish Me Mel. Which is kind of funny because my Sweet Party floor also had all those items. But with the mix of Cinemoral. And there's also Kurobi over here. It just has all the very cute characters. So... I really like this floor. The Gropey area is really adorable. And Miracle Dreamy's back here. She's so cute. I really love Miracle Dreamy. And then over here is Yellow with Hello Kitty and Hello Mimi and Pom Pom as well. But this is my number one favorite floor as of right now. Maybe it's because it's new, but I still think it's just so cute and really, really adorable. I love all of the furniture I used and I really love the theme you guys picked too. Again, that was a challenge video and it was so fun to do it. Um, I think I'll be doing another challenge video like that very soon because it was just so fun to record and build this floor. But anyways guys, that's my top five favorite floors. Which one's your favorite out of the five? I love building and I love Hello Kitty Cafe and it was so fun to rank all five of my favorite floors. I'm sure when I build more, it'll change again. So if you guys want another video like this, let me know and I can do another one in the future when I've built more floors and maybe even some of my older floors will become my favorites again but those are definitely my top five favorite floors anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching bye